Look at the new sets. Oh, there's new sets. Shit. No problem. Happy to play ability draft sometimes. All right, I've got really good stack gain as a whole. Um, I can kind of do anything, whether it's casting spells. Cloak and dagger should be gone by the time it gets to me. Um, Blink is good. Fiery Soul is good. Any OP combos, though. Uh, spell shields in here, so there might be some like good ags combos. Um, I like Bane's abilities. Got to open the Dota buff. Naga. I don't think she has spell specific stuff, and most of her perks I think are kind of shit because she's generally an okay core hero. Mana or health at 10, that sucks. I'll probably do mana, ensnare cooldown, or attack speed at 15. 20 it's agility or strength, and at 25 it's mirror image illusion or movement speed. So, oh there's mana break as well. If I can get mana break mirror image, I'll do that. That's real OP. I think that's a possibility. I could certainly get these. Not surprised to see Invis go first. It's super good. I want to get these two if possible. Other than that, I'm going to be looking at like... Maybe not Sacrifice. Not Unexpected. Blink is still really strong. That was not the pick. That's actually a bit of an underwhelming nuke. Oh, there's two Blinks. I didn't even realize. Dude, if this guy gets both blinks, we lose. Game is over. Your turn to pick. Okay, I am going to first grab this. Because it's less likely that somebody grabs mirror image, I feel. If I grab mirror image, people are very likely to grab the mana break. And now I need to do something that helps me farm, I guess. Unstable current's not the move. Maybe brain sap. So that I can keep rumbling. Sunter in the night work? I have to get this though, because there's enough ranged heroes they could. Okay, we're good. A little scary, but alright, we're good. So I basically have a free AM Manta. Yeah, I was thinking about Nightstalker passive, just because it would make all my illusions run fast, I think at nighttime, I think that could be worth getting. Because I'm going to probably want to max this first anyways, that way the they survive longer. Because I can just use mirror image and run them at somebody. And honestly, I can just rush like... I can just go like Treads, Aquila, maybe a Wand and go straight into Manta. So far these builds are... This one kind of makes sense, I guess. But he, I don't know what a spammable spell is going to be. Because <laughs> his last spell has to be super spammable by itself. But the issue is this guy can't very well keep those up. I don't. I think Static Link was kind of a cool idea, but I think he needs another spell to spam. Chachi's build is thus far awful. Uh, I gotta think of an ulti too. Oh, I just get Mana Void, of course. That would make the most sense. Alright, Hunter the Night's Gun. I gotta think. Oh fuck, I'm drafting like right away. Um... Smoke screen. I need a slow, ideally. Your turn what about like Fortune's End? Is that too silly? I could basically Manta split, channel this from range, and run my illusions at somebody. I think this will work. Um, ultimate, I get Mana Void, most likely. I think I'm in a good spot. This guy's going to be kind of scary, but in fact, this guy's going to blink void static storm. That's actually terrifying. They've got some. They've got some scary heroes. Actually, not really. It's basically just this guy. That's the only one. That's these guys all have such shit builds. Their builds are so bad. Almost as bad as our builds. Shit. Shit. Your turn to pick. Okay, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Moonhead's going to have huge mana problems. Moonhead just gets sacrifice. I think. No Lich Q. I mean, I could have gotten it, but it, it would be kind of mana expensive. And yeah, it would give me slow, I guess. But I think this is more fun because I can use it for Dispel, first of all. It's a 1.1 wonder skill. Um, you know what else I could do? I could actually mirror image, channel it on one of my illusions, and then run it into melee range. And then guarantee a 2.5 second disable that happens almost instantly. This is definitely the, the skill here. It's so good in this circumstance. And my mana costs are not bad at all. I don't even think I have to go... I think I can even get the health perk at 10, maybe. 
Although I might want to do the mana just. This guy mana drains. Uh, I'm done. I'm, 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 I'm your carry. I am very much your carry. I'm actually so confident this game with my skill build. Uh, mana brain. This is a mana brain game. It's interesting. It's not terrible though. So be fast basey. I'm gonna get a quelling instead. I am safe lane. Ah. Yes. Hi. So you say. Thirty seconds to Who's the uh, who's who's going mid? Chachi said he was roaming. Well, it's either you or Chachi. I say you go mid because your skills don't suck like Chachi's. Or technically he could buy items right now. Yeah, I guess you'll take that since you're going mid and you have no. I think this is going to be one of those. I really don't know what he's doing. I have no fucking idea. I need a cleaver and a blink digger. I, I don't know what a ruined cleaver is. Unless you're talking about quelling blade. Okay, I didn't, uh, didn't use sacrifice level one. Not sure why. Bad timing. Should have done that earlier. Looks like Chachi's just gonna rush a veil. This guy has such bad skills. I should probably just get boots here, honestly, before I make base could just have basey for the mana. Might add up, who knows. Actually, I think my build's so good. Blood, 
You know, that probably wasn't the guy to target considering he's got sacrifice. But maybe he doesn't have sacrifice yet because he's stupid. Which could be the move. I think I fed him some gold there too, which is maybe not worth it, but... I'm gonna go... More points in mirror image just to increase my farm speed. There we go. I'm gonna take some damage now. Goldie gets for those. Guess if you have no mana, you can't cast Sacrifice, huh? That's fine, you can keep hitting me. I really don't care. That's fine, if you get last hits, it doesn't bother me. So items this game. Yes. What do I get? Uh, do I just rush movement speed? No, I should get maybe a drum. No. I should just get like a drum, I think. Increase my movement speed. Give me a little bit of generic stats. I think the cost went down recently too, if I'm not mistaken. Oops. Let's see if I can do this like outplay thing. Didn't work. Cool in theory. No Slytherine may fail. Yes. Got it. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna miss that one. So I need to get some mana things. That'll be for drum. Just get like one of these. Finish the Wraith Band. I'll need that and a circlet. I think I kind of want to make poor man's, but I think I should just skip it honestly, because um, just gonna delay my other items. And I don't think I'm gonna really need the extra safety. Like the agility it gives me is cool and all, but just don't think it's really needed. Might as well just finish this here. Make that trans transfer items a little easier. Let's go with the nuke and the blink and stuff. It's actually pretty funny, you can't even like blink because should get windlace, and I can't do that from side shop anymore. I think they removed that, so maybe we should have waited for windlace instead of the null. Oops. Oops. Alright, let's go hit up the jungle. That's actually such good damage increase.
Actually, I don't think I want to go treads after all. I kind of want to go BOTs just for the movement speed increase. God, I hit actually so hard right now. The only issue is it's kind of difficult for me to catch up once I channel my my third skill. I think if I had like crossing over or something, that would be way better. That's a swell dodge. I don't lose that much doing this though. Just bullying two people in a lane. I should have used um, Fortune's End on myself right there. Immediately afterwards would have been way better. Um, still don't have a mana regen item, which is a little bit scary, but... Huh. Let's do two. No! It aggroed. Still no HP regen item, unfortunately. You know, my natural HP regen's not bad, though. We have been, we have been nuked, guys. Guess I'll just leave the lane. Oh shit! I blocked it. I should have really dropped this. And now let's waste all of that regen I just gained. What do I want to get for HP regen? So you say. I should just get like a Yasha and shit. Aim gets like Battle Fury. I don't really want to get an item like that. Definitely don't need the mana, so I'm just going to go health. Um, this is probably more mana regen than I really needed, honestly. These guys might as well go send them on a death mission. I knew that man was TPing for a bounty Indeed. rune. Yes. Yes. Huh. Interesting build. Well, let's see if this works. But these guys all have mana. That's a hard kill.
Maybe I should have gotten like a Helm of the Dominator or something. Maybe that would have made more sense. Combo's working alright so far, I think. We should just get a BOTs, perhaps. That makes sense. Why does that aggro? I need a Yasha, I need my damage to go up. I can't go BOTs. It's me hitting neutrals is taking too long. And even then I'm still taking way too many hits. So it's like I'm, I'm pretty strong at fighting. I hit super hard right now, but I'm not accelerating quite as fast as I would need to. I think just slightly behind. I don't want to have to go something like Radiance because I think that's boring. Even though technically it's just as good as what I have. It's just as good as like regular Naga. pushing alone unfortunately so just do this for now Suffer. now the question is stout chill I guess not a huge fan maybe this is also silly considering I already have illusions but Too. Get them little illusions. Oh, he's trying to grip me. That guy's actually really scary. Maybe I get uh, Lincoln's afterwards or something. Let's see if I can kill him. might have been better here for the first build. Although I think that guy can still stop me. I'd be the best kink on the map right now, I think. Straightforward. Thank you for bringing me a kill. Calculated. Let's do this. Technically, Quilling doesn't give me that much damage right now. If I just hit him a little bit more as he loses his mana pool, so. Oh, I really 
really should have saved that for myself. I should have saved that for myself. Actually, wasn't very much heal, unfortunately. So, uh, next item BOTs, maybe butterfly, maybe. Oh, that didn't. Mm. That should have worked. I misclicked, though. Definitely should have gone home this game, I think. Because now I'm just like never full on HP and I don't feel comfortable fighting. So, Arcane Top, if anyone wants. Still not farming as fast as I would like, I think, no but let's just get BOTs some like ultra fast. Uh, 20 strength is pretty big, that's 400 HP here. I might want to do that over my, my own hero's agility, although making my dudes better sounds pretty good to me. HP, 15 agility. I think I honestly have to get the HP. Appears we are winning the game though. fast. Dude, Mungolms with mana is so nice. Attack, damn it. And now I'm all fast. A lot of damage. What was that? Oh. Oh. It's the part where you change up the way you're running. I have to get the strength. 
I would love the edgy, but I don't think I can justify it. Um, maybe a butterfly here. Lincolns? Lincolns, perhaps. Alright, let's look at skills again. Um, Fiery Soul, Chain Frost. They honestly have so many bad abilities. Um, yeah, honestly, Lincolns might be pretty nice, even though they have so many bad things. Blocking a lot of those skills would be cool. It's just kind of an expensive stat item, really. Whereas instead if I got Butterfly, my attack speed would be insane, and it's only 700 more gold. But I kind of need some... something to keep me better alive. Go my illusions. I'm definitely gonna go movement speed for the last one. I think that one's god tier. Such a good perk. Make a splash. to pursue that it's not going to be a kill your middle tower is under attack we'll see no slithering may fail you open. everything has got mana now what the heck so nice Actually, getting a lot of HP regen just from my stats. I have so many. It's definitely our issue, though. We just don't do very much damage. Go for the curry. Overextended. Oh, he's got eggs on him too. That's a seven second grip. That's really good grip. Hmm. I feel like you should have gone cast range. I think gold per minute's not worth it in this case. Maybe. 60 GPM is not very much, whereas if he goes range, that, that makes his fiend's grip go longer and his uh, smoke screen too, which I feel like is kind of important. Hmm. We just gave that guy like a fuckload of gold. That was worth a lot actually. So as that guy died. Was Moonhead Bind? Bloodstone. Okay. Well. Oh, he's got it. He'll disassemble. Or Midas into Bloodstone. That's weird. Well, you're getting that cast range perk, right, Moonhead? What was that? You're getting that cast range perk, right? At 20? Oh yeah. Okay, good.
it's definitely kind of tough for me to gap close. I think I overlooked the viability of Fortune's End here. The Battle Fury Anti Mage. Yes. So you say. Damn it. No Slytherin may fail. Should go like crit next, maybe. Nah, I still need like butterfly. Maybe. Yeah, I should definitely get some evasion. Should I get an E-Blade? Let's get an E-Blade for fun. That'll be more fun than Butterfly. I thought I wasn't, I didn't realize I was channeling that. I was pretty low. I'm not too surprised I died there. The creeps! Guys trying to go like DPS. I guess it makes sense with tricks. You literally fun. Um, Butterfly is definitely better if I'm running illusions at people, but this will give me the ability to E Blade ulti, which is kind of cool. Not that I use my ulti very much, technically, Butterfly is much better. Um, last item after this, I guess I still have to replace the drum. Oh, I had to mana burn heroes. Um, last item. What did I say? Maybe crit? I could get a Bloodthorn. I don't need that much mana regen though. 
Although the anti-blink would be nice, actually, considering that they all literally have blink daggers. I probably should just buy Bloodthorn. The crit's not amazing, but I don't need more raw damage. I just need a little bit of utility with some crit. So that'll be the... that's definitely the build. I thought somebody else TP'd. I was very confused, though. Build looks fun. Just leap around ulti. Oh, we can kill shrines. My illusions do nothing. Bottom is pretty low HP. So, oh well. That was fun. Guess I gotta keep that because it's movement speed, even though this gives me way better damage. Um, let's do this. Actually, let's put that here. That would be Bloodthorn last that I maybe like Scotty or something. Heart makes more sense though, just to make my illusions ridiculous, or maybe Butterfly. But Heart or Scotty is probably the safest, probably Heart. Because really the only thing that's gonna ever kill me is getting gripped. literally the worst person to cast it on.
That was fun. Um, my hockey spread is actually not very confusing. My items are weird. My items are definitely weird, but um, my skills aren't weird. Everybody, most everybody uses Q W E R. I just use W E R T because I don't like using Q very much. It's not like a. I like when I rest my hand on my keyboard. I do thumb and space bar. My pinky's on A, and uh, I use W E R for my three middle fingers. So I'd rather do Wirt than Quir because I don't like the Q button very much. 600 points. Uh, what did Chachi have that game? Pretty much a bunch of shit skills, but somehow he made it work. I don't know what it is. I just really don't know. Uh, Ricky's last skill is, isn't doesn't do anything. 